Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Do Not Judge. In Matthew 7, 1, we read as Do not judge or you will be judged. When Jesus said, Do not judge, what did he mean? Was he forbidding one from making moral evaluations? Did he suggest that we should keep our mouth shut when we notice immoral and wicked practices in our midst? Certainly not. This verse is one of the most popular Bible verses of our day. We use this verse in an attempt to silence our critics. If we read verses 15 and 16 of the same chapter, we notice that Jesus was commanding his followers to know people by their fruit. And for knowing their fruit, some sort of judgment is necessary. Jesus does not oppose offering correction, but forbid providing correction with a wrong motive. In John 7.24, Jesus says, Stop judging by mere appearances, but instead judge correctly. Here, Jesus seems to be highlighting that we have to make judgments in the right sense and should not indulge in criticizing others in censorious manner. By telling do not judge, Jesus does not suspend our critical powers. We are equipped to discern right from wrong and righteousness from wickedness. In Isaiah 5.20, we read as, O to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. When the Bible says, do not judge, or you too will be judged, it is talking about condemnation. Jesus does not want us to take the function of judge, dispensing judgment upon others. Jesus is speaking against being judgmental, that is, judging the motive of others which is truly known only to God. We would be able to judge the fruit of a man, but we can rarely judge their motives with accuracy. We should stay away from judging superficially. Passing judgment superficially on someone based only on appearances is sinful and wrong. It is foolish to jump to conclusions with incomplete information and without knowing the facts. We should avoid judging hypocritically. Most of our judgment in regard to others is wrong, not because we judge according to a standard, but because we are hypocritical in the application of that standard ignoring such standard in our own life. We judge others by one standard and ourselves by another standard, being more generous to ourselves than others. To be the salt and light of the earth, we have to make sound moral judgments. Evil teachers and evil men must be exposed and purged out of the body of Christ. In 1 Timothy 5.20, we read that sinning ones need to be reproved publicly so that the others may take warning. We are to gently confront erring brothers or sisters in Christ, but we are not to display a critical fault-finding nature or being negative with judgmental attitudes. We should stay away from critical judging eager to find fault. As believers, 
we have to make split led right judgments but not in an unloving and unkind manner the judgment is one of the noblest faculties of our moral life we need to examine the spirit out of which our judgment on others spring out we must judge ourselves before judging others and we should not make our word a law to everybody everyone has untold stories of pain and sadness that make them live a little differently than we do let us try to understand others before coming to conclusions may god enable us to judge rightly and not to get indulged in passing judgment in censorious manner thank you for listening god bless you